Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be checking out a cool new project that I found in GitHub lately. So it's called the Natifier, I'll leave the link in the description below. What this allows you to do is convert any website into a full scale desktop application and it supports macOS, Windows application and Linux as well. But before we get started with that we need something called the Node.js. So make sure you go to Node.js and install it in whatever operating system you're working on and then all the commands are given right in front of you. So we're going to be using npm install hyphen g natifier. What hyphen g does is that it installs this node module as a global project. So instead of creating a new folder, uh, instead of creating a folder as node module on your system where you are, it creates it globally so that you can access it anywhere just by using the npm command. So we'll wait for it to install. So a quick description about this is that it uses something called the Chromium and Electron as the front end and the back end. So it renders the website using Chromium and applies it to Electron.js that's helping it to convert the website into a working executable file. So which means you're going to be getting .exe file for Windows and so as such for macOS and Linux as well. And it will automatically detect the host OS so you don't have to worry about that at all. For further usage and description, you can check out the readme file that's given in the GitHub project itself. But this is just going to be a quick demo on how you can convert a website into a desktop application. The best part is that it also takes the icon that is the logo of the website and converts it into an app icon. So you don't have to worry about that either. Now that the more module has been installed, what we're going to be doing is we will try converting YouTube website into a desktop application. So with the command natifier and within double quotes, you need to enter the website that you want to convert into an application. Make sure you do not miss out on the um, double quotes because that's what makes it sure that that's the string you need to add. So we're going to be converting YouTube, but actually in your case, you can convert any website into a desktop application. Also note and keep this in mind that you do need internet access to have the app open that actual app for you because it's actually fetching content from internet and then it's converting it. So basically it's just like a web view within an application, nothing much. But then, hey, it's working natively within the native resolution. You don't have to worry about any of those because all websites are built and are being responsive enough. So you can see that it clearly tells you the uh, location where the project has been saved. Just navigate to that and you will have everything packaged together within a folder. So let's get into the folder and let's see the content that we have. I really haven't tested this on the 32-bit architecture, but yeah, it is working clearly fine on 64-bit. And as you can see, there we have the app icon of YouTube as the app logo and the YouTube itself. You might see the UI changes a little bit, but this is because the website itself is being responsive and it's trying to fit in within that particular screen. Because generally in YouTube, you do not see that left-hand side sidebar but you see in this desktop application because yes, there is a bit of conversion on the responsiveness, but that's it for now. Leave a like if you like the content and if you would like to see more, hit that subscribe button. That would be much appreciated with the bell icon and I'll see you guys in the next video.